Hello everybody, Cub Fan here with a response bit video for Nostalgic about baseball. And uh, he's celebrating 100 uh, subscribers. And he asked to name your all-time batting order. And I had a little bit of fun with this. And of course it's an all-time batting order of your uh, favorite team. And mine's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and uh, I had a lot of fun with this, but I also had a little toil with this. Because uh, I wasn't for sure in what direction to go with. Because there's a lot of great history in the Cubs. But uh, some of the long time past history is not something I'm real, like, personally familiar with. Um, I know who the players are, but they're not players I ever saw or heard stories about from relatives or anything like that growing up so I didn't have any real connection with them so I have a hard time with these all-time teams but then I just decided to make it my all-time team so just my favorite player at each position and uh, pick a batting order for them so without any further ado let's get started so uh, playing first and batting first I have uh, Mark Grace and uh, Anthony Rizzo is quietly uh, creeping up on my all-time list. Uh, but he's still just not quite there yet. But Mark Grace, growing up in the 80s, I just absolutely love this guy. He led the decade of the 90s in hits and doubles. And uh, he's the only player to lead a decade in hits and doubles and not be in the Hall of Fame. So there's that for you. But uh, playing second... And batting second, my favorite player, Ryan Sandberg. Here's his 83 tops. Uh, nine consecutive gold gloves. Um, he had an airless uh, streak of uh, 123 games without committing an error. Um, his defense was flawless, but his uh, offense was pretty damn good too. So there he is, number 23. And then uh, batting third and playing shortstop. And Mr. Cub himself, Ernie Banks, 512 career home runs, uh, two-time league MVP. Can't argue with that. Now, this is where it starts to get a little shady, but batting fourth and playing right field, slamming Sammy. Now, regardless of the PED issues or uh, whatever you want to say about him, he still has the most career home runs in a Cubs uniform. Uh, just absolutely love watching him play. Um, I don't like him anymore, but um, he still plays. A, he's got a place in my heart, and I uh, still love him. So, Sammy Sosa batting fourth. And then um, batting fifth. And playing left field, I know he was a right fielder, but for me, he's going to be playing right field. I mean, left field, but uh, the Hawk, Andre Dawson, uh, his time was pretty short in Chicago. And I believe he's wearing an Expos uniform in the Hall of Fame. But he is uh, he will always be one of my all-time favorite outfielders for the Cubs. Um, I know there's a lot more out there. Uh, that played the position, but for me, that this is my guy. There's Dawson. And then uh, I forget where I'm at. I think I'm at uh, batting six and playing. Uh, I'm going to put him in center field, but Billy Williams, Hall of Famer. Him and uh, Ron Sano came up about the same time. Uh, six or seven time All Star. Uh, led the league and home runs and even had a batting title uh, just a hell of a player one of my favorites here's my center fielder now playing seventh and playing third Ron Sano Hall of Famer uh, one of my favorite third basemen I didn't actually get to see him play but uh, grew up listening to stories about him from my dad and my uncles and my family so there he is. And then uh, here's where it gets a little crazy. It's because, you know, the obvious choice for catcher uh, would be Gabby Hartnett. But I don't 
I don't have a lot of experience with him. Um, I know his accolades. I could read baseball reference, but uh, this is my list, my favorite players at those positions. So uh, batting eighth and catching, Jody Davis. Um, I love this guy growing up in the 80s. Dude was a stud. A um, couple all-star games. Not Hall of Fame worthy by any stretch of the means, but he was just a solid player for us, and he was always, he's my all-time favorite Cubs catcher. Wilson Contreras could uh, overtake him someday, but for right now, it's still Jody Davis. And then uh, pitching, we got Mad Dog Greg Maddox. I remember when he came up with the Cubs, I just, I thought this guy was awesome. Didn't throw hard, but just so smart. Such a student of the game. So there he is, batting ninth, and my starting pitcher, Greg Maddox. So there it is, uh, nostalgia about baseball cards. Uh, if you haven't done so, um, please treat yourself. Go check him out. He's a great dude. Does lots of different things. Has some breaks. He likes break vintage packs and stuff like that. So. Uh, pretty cool channel. I really enjoy it. So there he is. Go check him out. And uh, thanks for watching.